All right, welcome back everybody. In this section, we're gonna talk about adjustments, deductions, and calculating tax. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how adjusted gross income is determined. We're gonna understand how deductions help reduce the amount of tax, and you will learn how tax is calculated. Adjustments are contained on Schedule 1, and they reduce a taxpayer's total income. Once you total all the income and subtract all the adjustments, you get the Adjusted Gross Income, or AGI. One of the most common adjustments you may see at our sites is the Student Loan Interest Deduction. Clients will typically bring in a 1098E, or a letter from the lender showing the amount the taxpayer paid in interest. Once income has been totaled and adjustments subtracted, the AGI is figured on line 11 of the 1040. The standard or itemized deduction on line 12 is subtracted from AGI. This decreases the amount of income subject to tax. Once that is subtracted out, you can get the taxable income, which is used to figure the tax. Standard deduction amounts are listed on page 1 of the 1040. These amounts are generally adjusted every year. These are the standard deduction amounts for the current tax year. For some taxpayers, taking the itemized deduction is better, especially if it's higher than their standard deduction. Who might benefit from itemizing? Homeowners paying a mortgage. Those who give gifts to charity, or have a large amount of medical expenses. Also, taxpayers who are married filing separately must itemize if their spouse does so. Itemized deductions are an advanced level subject, and generally very few of our clients itemize because of the large standard deduction. So what will the Ness's deduction amount be? Let's take a look at her facts. Her filing status is single. She is 38 years old and not legally blind. Because she's not legally blind or over 65, she'll get the normal standard deduction for her filing status. Next, we take her AGI and subtract out the single standard deduction. Now her taxable income is lowered by the standard deduction. You can see the difference as it is calculated on line 15 of form 1040. So what is the Nessus tax? The software will figure it out for you. However, if you were doing this the old fashioned way, you would go to the tax tables. Since she is single, and her taxable income falls between this range of numbers where we find the amount of her tax. And that amount of her tax is carried to line 16 on her 1040. In this lesson, you learn that income minus adjustments equals adjusted gross income or AGI. AGI minus the standard or itemized deduction equals taxable income. And taxable income is used to calculate tax, and the tax rate is based on your filing status. Did you get all that? <laughs> Don't worry if you're still a little confused. This will all become more clear as you continue training and get more experience preparing returns. That concludes the lesson on adjustments, deductions, and tax. Next, we're going to go over credits and other taxes. See you then.